I think most people realize by now that privacy is dead. I don't want to sound like a tinfoil hat wearing Alex Jones troglodyte or anything, but it's no secret that there's constant surveillance in the world. I still remember the day the news broke that confirmed the NSA is quite literally always watching, whether it's through inactive webcams or whatever, and you can see it pretty much daily. Like if you're having a conversation with your friends talking about lawnmowers, like, hey, my lawnmower just broke. I'm really upset that lawnmower was passed down by my grandfather and his grandfather before him. I really am going to miss that bad boy, the Perkins Gobblemaster 5000. You know, I, I just missed that lawnmower. And then you happen to go on your phone, your ads are going to be lawnmowers. That shit happens all the time to me where I'm just talking about something and then the ads mimic what I was talking about without me ever having typed it in. It's shit like that where constantly there are signs that you're most likely being looked at in some capacity. I swear to god this conversation has a purpose beyond me just seeming like I'm having a manic episode here of, of like gang stalking or something. I'm not saying that we're all just guinea pigs in a universal simulation or something by alien overlords. The reason I'm talking about this is because I watched a video where a big story just came out where some Airbnb hosts were hiding hidden cameras in their houses that they were renting out in order to spy on the guests having sex and changing so they'd take videos and photos uh, without their consent and without their knowledge. And I wanted to share the video and just talk about it a little bit. It's like a scene from a scary movie. But this really happened. This man on screen is setting up a hidden camera in his home. And not just one. This is the creepy voyeur, Christopher Rogers convicted of using these spy cams disguised as smoke detectors to secretly record his guests in their most intimate moments. I cut out the section where it showed some of the footage, but it was people either changing, getting naked, or taking a shower, something like that. He positioned multiple cameras across his house in order to capture these moments for his own sexual pleasure and was recently arrested for it. And this is something I never even stopped to consider when it came to Airbnbs. I'm not a big traveler since I'm a pussy who's afraid of flying, but I did recently go to Texas and we stayed at an Airbnb, and the main thing I was concerned about was bed bugs. But now this really put the fear of God in me, should I ever get another Airbnb? I'm gonna be going through that shit with a fine tooth comb, be like Inspector Gadget looking over every nook and cranny for any kind of like spy tech shit. And the hidden cameras they show here are pretty impressive. I would have no idea. Granted, I have a tiny little reptile brain, but I would have no inkling of suspicion when it came to these devices they show. It almost feels like an advertisement for these hidden cameras. They're so fucking impressive. Like, they actually seem like James Bond gadgets here, straight out of Q Laboratories. Spy cameras you can buy online are disguised as practically everything these days. This electrical adapter has a tiny hidden lens you'd never notice. And this digital clock can record your every move. It can even transmit video live, allowing whoever's watching you to track your movements in real time. I gotta say, this feels like a little bit of a Hollywood magic here. There's no way that digital alarm clock was live streaming that seamlessly with that high quality. I just don't fucking believe that. That'd be like a $50,000 camera or some shit. If you look at like courtroom footage from like court cam or something, they're transmitting a negative 240p at like six frames per minute. And you're telling me this digital alarm clock is better than all the security camera footage at these courthouses? I just don't believe it. I feel like that had to be like a little cheating there or something. But again, I could just be very naive when it comes to how advanced these hidden cameras are. Like shit, even my Sony a7 when I try and stream off it gets blurry and a little choppy from time to time. That was extremely smooth. I felt like I was in the room watching her. Like that shit is wild. But this is something that, again, I never even stopped to consider. But now that I know it's out there... Seems like something some sick fucks would do. It just looks like a modern digital clock. 25-year-old Isa Valdi was on vacation with friends at an apartment listed on Airbnb in Miami Beach when she says she spotted a hidden camera. I turned around and I see a black cube that looked like a digital clock and I'm like, there's no way. I open it up, there's a camera inside, I unplug it and it's just like, wow, I was in shock. But Bro, this lady needs to be hired by a forensics analysis team. The ability to just sniff out something fishy with a digital alarm clock at an Airbnb is wacky. Like, good, good shit. Like, that is extremely impressive. Fucking Batman wouldn't be checking digital alarm clocks at a crime scene, let alone while just leisurely kicking back at an Airbnb. 
But she was able to like spot something wrong with the alarm clock and confirm that, yep, it was a hidden camera. So that's great to hear. Hopefully that person behind that is also uh, going to jail for it. And this is something that I'm now always going to have in the back of my head anytime I'm staying at like an Airbnb or even hotels in general because I also looked into it a bit. It's happened at hotels too where a couple of weirdo staff members have placed hidden cameras in some hotel rooms. And it's not so much the fact that I'd be upset with them seeing my cock. It's more so the fact that I'd be upset with them seeing my flaccid cock. That's just so embarrassing. I, I really wouldn't wish that misery on even my worst enemy. Like, if you're going to spy on me, at least spy on me when I'm, like, at my best. Like, when, when my wiener is performing admirably instead of all sad and soft and shit. And say they immediately became suspicious during the host's tour of the property. He told us where we should view the sunrise and said, you know, be comfortable. You guys can look at it in the nude or in your pajamas. No one's around. That moment, I thought, maybe we're getting recorded. Sure enough. He says just a few hours into their stay, he discovered it. It's a little AC adapter. Yep, this exact device was in the wall. Images recovered from the tiny camera show him changing in the room. He's now suing the cabin's owner, AJ Ali. You know this guy's guilty just from him smiling in his mugshot here. This is the face of a man who's seen more dick than a urologist through his little hidden cameras throughout his Airbnb lodge. And he also sounds like the dumbest criminal of all time, like, Hey, you wild and wacky college kids, come over here. If you guys want to be naked, all power to you. But why not be naked in this exact spot? If you look on the ground, I have uh, some tape down there. Those are your marks. If you could stand there while naked and admiring the sunset, it's for optimal viewing. And also, please don't put any bags over by that desk over there. I need to keep that area completely clear for... Uh, you know, spiritual reasons. Don't put any bags over there. I don't want anything obstructing that table and don't unplug that AC adapter no matter what you do. It powers the entire house. Hey, and now have fun out there. Like he immediately just trips all kinds of red flags for this guy to eventually find where he's being spied on from, which has now led to this guy's arrest. And he's apparently been doing this for quite some time considering they've recovered so many images from him. He was arrested and charged with invasive visual recording after police say a laptop revealed more than 2,000 images taken inside the rental home, which was also listed on other property sites. He's pleaded not guilty. This is a felony in the state of Texas. The evidence is overwhelming. Included in the images that we have on the computer are images of him setting up the camera in the room. And that was something I immediately thought of. Maybe I've been watching too much Better Call Saul, but I was trying to think of how he could possibly plead not guilty and get away with this. And the only conclusion I could draw was if they tried to blame it on one of the guests. Like, no, that hidden camera is not mine. It doesn't belong to me. It must have been one of my uh, wild guests that came in there and, and just used my place as some kind of sexual hot spot without my knowledge. You know, just treat, the, treat it like a boogeyman, like, oh, some kind of cryptid must have broken in. A burglar came in and installed these hidden cameras across my house. It wasn't me that did it. Because it would be kind of hard to prove that the actual Airbnb owner was the one who installed them, because, I mean, I guess it could have been someone else. But the fact that this guy's such a fucking idiot that he recorded himself setting up the cameras makes it a pretty open and shut case, I'd imagine. And just like that first guy who recorded himself setting it up, too. We'd just like to talk to you because... He wasn't happy to see us. Were you secretly filming people, sir? He gets out of his truck and takes a swipe at my mic. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. See y'all later. Have a good day. Gate. He says all the accusations are false calling them fake lawsuits just looking for money. When he revved up his truck engine, I really expected him to go full Dominic Toretto and just bust through his own gate and just storm up to his house and just hang out in there to avoid being interviewed. But yeah, to my surprise, he did get out of the car and try and slap the mic out of her hand. Didn't really offer too much of an explanation for his innocence or anything. But of course, you know, he didn't have his lawyer present, so it makes sense that he wouldn't give like the most intricate of defenses or anything. But uh, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this since I just got back from traveling and now this is giving me uh, a little more food for thought for the next time I travel. Just uh, maybe I'll do a, a bit of a sweep through the area to see if there's any hidden cameras. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.